guess what? I just found out how to get Gemini to work instead of Uphold with no network fees so that you can transfer your BAT tokens from your Brave browser as a creator off onto a mobile wallet or a hardware wallet. So let's jump in right now. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and let me show you how to get it done. All right, guys, now we're gonna jump in here. Go to creators.brave.com, uh, log back in and make sure you have everything connected. It's gonna let you know, it's gonna send you an email. You know this process. All right, and this is what your screen's gonna look like if you have not connected your Gemini wallet. Uh, come right down here. Uh, you probably have had your Uphold wallet connected for some time. Click on, make sure you disconnect from the Uphold and then connect to Gemini. You're gonna get that seven digit code, put that in and then give approval status or, or allow Gemini to connect with your Brave browser. All right, and then once you do that, you're gonna select what type of currency you, you would like to have your payouts in. I prefer BAT because that's what I'm earning off of the browser. Uh, I prefer to stay in that uh, currency, or not currency, token. Um, but you can select whatever one you want here. Just by using the drop down. you can use USD, BTC, or ETH, which is typical for Brave Rewards. I go with BAT, so save that there. All right, so then you're gonna see that it's connected. This is my name. And uh, what you're gonna do is you can even change it if you want to later on down the road. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, I noticed uh, on Reddit when I did some research that people were seeing that if you make this change, if you sh set it up today, uh, it may not happen until the next deposit payment schedule. So just keep that in mind. If you're wondering 30 days later why it is not happening, why you're not seeing your BAT tokens on Gemini being deposited there, it could be uh, why, that could be why I mean, um, is that it is has not gone through the invoice or deposit schedule with Brave Browser. So just be patient, it may take some time for it to set up, but that's what you wanna do next. You want to connect uh, your Gemini wallet within uh, the Brave Browser so that you can start getting your creator rewards sent to Gemini and not Uphold. All right, so what you're gonna do here, we're gonna jump into your Brave Browser so I obviously have uh, uh, seen what the price of Bitcoin is right now as of recording this, but you're gonna open up a new tab so that you can see your Brave Rewards. You can see I have a couple in there. Um, but what you wanna, make, you wanna make sure you do, if you haven't done this already, click on Add a Card, and then you can see you have, okay, I've already had my Brave available, uh, Gemini and uh, Binance. And so I'm gonna click on, actually I'm gonna do both just for the heck of it, but Gemini is what I want, okay? So you're gonna add Gemini, and then you're gonna connect Gemini. All right, and so then you're gonna log in. If you don't have an account, you need to make an account, sign in, and then we'll take on the next steps. All right, and then it's going to send you a seven digit code in a text message. Make sure you get that code, put it in, and you'll move forward from there. All right, so then on the next screen, you're gonna see it, was one, it wants to ask for permissions. Obviously do allow, boom. And then you've got the card showing up right there. I'm gonna show you what I have. I don't have much because I wanted to make sure this went through. It took a while. I've been wanting to do this video for some time because I wanted to make sure we had an, another option besides uphold to offload our BAT tokens. So you can see right now, you can see what I have on Gemini. It allows you to deposit trade and it just shows my balance. So you wanna make sure you have your, uh, your card there uploaded and attached, but then also you're gonna jump into your Gemini account and I'll show you how to transfer um, your tokens from there. All right, so now we're going to jump into the Gemini account. So then once you're in here, you're gonna go up to transfer, then come down to withdraw from Gemini. You're gonna click on BAT token, because this is all I have in my portfolio at this moment. Click continue, select your address. So what you're gonna do is I already have an, I have an address that is verified. It took me about five to seven business days to get verified on the platform. So keep that in mind, this is not an instant transaction uh, saved aspect. It takes some time to be verified. What you can do here, you can go to settings to manage your approved addresses. So you'll see here, you've got other aspects there. 
I have an address. So I'm gonna do add new address. If you wanted to do that, select your network, address label, put in the actual address. And like I said, it will take a couple days for that to get verified. Uh, once it does, see right here, uh, each address added to your list must clear a seven day approval hold before you're able to withdraw to that address. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it takes about, takes about seven business days to get that done. All right, so once you have your address there, if you want, um, like I have, it makes it a whole lot easier here. You click continue, then you click max amount, because obviously I'm drawing, pulling off all the uh, BAT tokens off the system, off the exchange system, I don't know word. Click continue. All right, so there it has some details on the whole transaction. Then I'm gonna do request withdraw. I'm gonna get a seven digit code as well. I'm gonna put that in and then it's gonna say, you have transferred that to my specific address, showing that it is successful and complete. And then I will go on to my BRD app and show you that it came in just fine. All right, so jumping in my BRD app here, we can see that uh, the transaction went through right here, the basic attention token, $11. Right there, it shows me that I have $11 uh, roughly in my account for my B, uh, BRD wallet. I can see that it went through just fine. Here's uh, the confirmation. Um, and that's how you do it. That's how you get your BRD tokens from Gemini onto your BRD wallet or say onto another Coinbase wallet that you may have or some other mobile wallet or if you put on Kraken, wherever you want to send your tokens, this is how you do it. All right, guys, so that's how you offload your BAT tokens from uh, earning them as a creator on the Brave browser and getting them off of the off of Gemini and onto your preferred uh, mobile or hardware wallet. I have chosen BRD in this example. Uh, but let me know if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, or if maybe there's a step that I glossed over that you would like to hear more about. Let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to assist you. You know, if there's any way that I can, and I'll do my best to help you out. But uh, until next time, guys, have a fantastic day. Enjoy the fall weather that we have outside and looking forward to more content down the road.